What's going on guys and welcome to a new playthrough and now I've done a lot of Nintendo content on this channel and some people might not like that about this so I think we're long overdue to tackle a Sega game and uh, we're technically playing a Sega game on a Nintendo console but uh yeah I'll go more into this later but uh yeah, we're it's gonna we're gonna see the uh, city station square over uh, with the flooding and everything. I do like this intro sequence, but uh, it's gonna say the name of the game, and I want this to be a surprise. Unless it, there's Sonic Adventure, which we're playing the DX port, but uh, I'll go more into this into a bit. But uh, yeah, we're playing Sonic Adventure. This is uh, the first. 3D Sonic that was like actually like not in development hell like it was a launch title on the Dreamcast now One reason I wanted to tackle this game was because even though I personally like this game There is a lot of criticism that comes toward this game in hindsight and I want to say both my defense against those criticisms and like on top of that there are some things even I personally don't like about Sonic Adventure, and uh, I hope to analyze pretty much every single one of them. Unlike a lot of my other playthroughs, however, this is not going to be 100%. Like, I'm not going to get A rank in every level. I'm not going to get every chow, which I don't have a GBA adapter, but like, um... Yeah, we're gonna do every. We're gonna play this with every character, and I'll go more into this later. But I love this intro. This is the, uh... See, unlike other Sonic games, which are mainly electronic music, this is mainly rock music. That's the soundtrack of Sonic Adventure. And I think the Sonic Adventure soundtrack is phenomenal. Like, um, it's by the duo Crush 40, 40 which consists of uh, Giant GLLE, who was of the group Hardline. Which, fun fact, while I was researching for this playthrough, I listened to the first Hardline album, and let's just say I'm not a fan. But let's just say the Sonic Adventure soundtrack kicks ass, let's just say. I will go through, through that multiple times in the playthrough, but, um... Yeah, this is Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. Now, I am not playing the best of ports of Sonic Adventure DX, of Sonic Adventure, let's just say, but, um, yeah, there's the Dreamcast port, which is a lot smoother, but there, I have the 360 port and I have the DX port. I practiced this game on both of those ports pretty much to see, like, which of those, like, I think could make a better playthrough out of. And I found the 360 port more unpleasant to play, so I'm reluctantly playing the dream, the DX port now. The DS, the DX port is kind of infamous for having its notorious share of bugs. Because, like, one problem I am going to have with Sonic Adventure, mainly in the DX port, there are some times you can die and it's not exactly your fault. But anyway, let's just get on the game. Now, I tried doing this, but we have to delete a file. But, uh, file one was my practice playthrough, but, uh... As you can see, I just did this with every character plus Super Sonic, which I'm going to do later. But, um, yeah, let's get to Sonic Adventure. <laughs> About time I tackled a Sonic game on this channel, because, like, let's just say, um, I would say I like some Sonic games. Let's just say I like some Sonic games. I don't like others. Anyways, there's adventure. There's eventually, we get trial and mission unlocked, but that's more like if you uh, you have to do certain tasks in the story. But um, yeah, we're gonna do adventure. But um, anyway, we have essentially we have six characters to play as in Sonic Adventure, and we unlock them th periodically throughout the game. We we start off with Sonic. Now Sonic is basically basic in terms of his story, but like each of these characters, you play as Tails, Knuckles, Amy. And oh, we'll get to him eventually, but Big the Cat and E-102 Gamma. Each of these characters are essentially, you're playing the story, but from their perspective, and I'll go more into it later, but uh, let's just start with Sonic. We're in Station Square. Now, um, yeah, let's just say, like I said, this was a launch title for the Dreamcast, which, um... I, I don't, one reason I don't find some of the Sonic Adventure criticism to be fair is that oftentimes, like, they'll look at Sonic Adventure, a Dreamcast launch title from 1999 through, like, 2024 lens, because, like, you have to keep in mind that, like, even when this DX port came out, like, Sonic 06 did not exist, neither did Shadow or really Sonic Boom, so, like, um, I've heard a lot of people compare this game unfavorably to those games, which... Let's be real, that criticism is not really, like, that valid in and of its own. Because Sonic 06 is a whole f a fuck of its own, but, like, um... What's up? Oh, 
Oh, I, I love this cutscene, by the way. But uh, when I practice this game, I uh, deliberately skip the cutscenes because I wanted to view them during the record, the playthrough itself. But some of these cutscenes, let's just say, I kind of forgot how dumb these are, like this one. Solid voice acting there, police officers. This is the best part. Hold on, it's gonna come. We say that, but we keep firing anyway. And anyways, so it's up to Sonic to tackle this to tackle this problem. Now, this is Chaos Zero. This is a tutorial boss, and let's just say I've seen a few playthroughs where they die on uh, Chaos Zero. So let's just say talking about his bosses are fucking easy. Let's just say you just do it like this, and then we've already hit him once. Wait till he, uh, you, you hit the red spot, which is his brain. That's his weakness, but um. We already one more hit and he's down. Now, one problem I do have with Sonic Adventure is that the camera is not very great. Let's just say, yeah, look at that camera when Chaos kind of moving. But uh, yeah, this is a very easy boss, let's just say. I said as I missed it, but I can beat him. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. Seriously, who the fuck dies on Chaos Zero? I'm looking at you, Aaron Hansen. That's your total ring count from basically uh, what, whatever you get in the stages and bosses. Come on, you big drip. Where you going? Come on, you big drip. Who the hell even says that? But yeah, the problem with Chaos Zero is taken care of. However, we're going to see in a second... <laughs> There's Robotnik, aka Eggman, which I'll go more into this la later in a, in a little later. But uh, yeah, let's just say both are used in the scam. Oh, this is a uh, I. This is like a really great cutscene. Just solid voice acting. The voice acting in Sonic Adventure, let's just say, not very good. Either is the lip sync game. Now I'm not gonna like, I, I wanna show off something off of this cutscene also. I'm not gonna like deliberately find everything like you can do in this game to like break it, but like um, I wanna show something really funny. So let's go in this pool. Let's, um, let's uh, talk to this woman. What, what happened? I was swimming and I missed it. Okay, so watch what happens when we're in the pool. Watch this. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on, it's gonna come. Here it comes. Yep, you can drown in the pool. <laughs> just that shallow water. I'm, just, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna die right away. But uh, if we talk to this woman, just my luck. A monster appears and a plane falls. I'm here to relax. It's unbelievable. Plane crash over there at the beach. I hope the pilot's okay. Mr. Sonic, please, can you go see, see if you can save him? And, uh, I'm Mr. know -all. Here's a clue. Grab the spinning things. It's important. As long as you got the rings, you'll be okay if you hit any hazard. Right, so you know. Oh, and don't worry. The view suddenly changes. It does that sometimes. Just to keep moving in the direction you want. It may take a little time to get used to it. Anyway, so, uh, here's the first of the Sonic levels. This is, uh, Emerald Coast. Now, I think it's a great introduction to this game, but, uh, I think it's a nice first stage introduction, but, um, basically our missing interest channels. Now, the way you get A ranking in these levels depends on how quickly you beat the levels, and, uh, I'm not going to go for, like, A rankings like every level. This is not going to be a 100% playthrough. I'm just going to go through this with every character. Because I don't, I don't kind of really have the patience to do this. But, um, yeah, so, like, um, let's just say there can be some bugs. I've seen bugs happen in this particular stage. But let's just say just keep holding up in those loops. You should be fine, let's just say. But, um, I think I want to go in the, see, like, 
Here's another thing I, I have against like Sonic Adventure criticism and all that. I feel a lot of people when they criticize Sonic Adventure as a whole, like they mostly criticize like the DX port or the 360 port, but like the Dreamcast port, even though I don't own a Dreamcast, I apparently is much, much smoother. Like, I don't know. It's like, it feels like no, to me no differently than saying like Mario 64 is a bad game because Mario 64 is considered an inferior, Mario 64 DS is considered an inferior port. Like, I don't really think a bad port of a game like makes a, a game itself bad, just mainly just is a bad port of a good game. Like there's Sonic, there's Sonic Genesis on the Game Boy, which is not a very good port of Sonic 1, but um, I don't know, it's like Sonic is like one of those like things that's like kinda, it's not like hit or miss in terms of quality, but also in terms of that, like there's also a very broken base that goes with it as well. Like there's a lot of people that really love Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, and there's a lot of people that mainly hate Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 and say that those games started the downfall of the series. Which I personally, I'd say I like Sonic Adventure, but I like Sonic Adventure more than I should. Like, I get a lot of enjoyment out of this game, but like, I don't know, it's like, because I just like have a little bit, I have a little bit of an, I have enough of an imagination kind of to get enjoyment out of Sonic Adventure. But I'm just going to say it off clearly for the record. Sonic Adventure is not for everyone. Sonic in general really isn't for everyone, because I've heard a lot of criticism, like, is it really about going fast and all that? But like, um... Yeah, but like, I guess uh, another thing about Sonic also is that a lot of it kind of requires like practice and all that. Like, Sonic is really not for everybody, mainly because like you have to play the shit out of some of those, some of the stages to get good at them. Especially get A ranking in this game. One thing I will say about the, uh, the Sonic story in Sonic Adventures is that they do handle one-ups like candy in the Sonic portions. I do think the Sonic levels are pretty good. I think some are better than others, but um... Yeah, you kind of have to, you have to kind of jump at the right time, but, um. So, yeah, with these loops, as long as you just keep holding up, you should be fine. We already have over 300 rings, which is really solid, but, um. Sometimes I've been able to do this level and get 400 rings. I wasn't actually seeking out every ring, but, um. So, yeah, that's Emerald Coast beaten. And that definitely increases our ring total by a lot. That's not like, that's, ring totals actually I don't really think means much because we're not really 100 percent in this, but like, um, if you want to go back and like go for a higher ranking, yeah, that's how you 100 percent this. I feel it's also more of an assessing like Adventure 2 than the first game. It's one of the reasons I'm not really as much a fan of Adventure 2. Another reason, I'd recommend watching the cutscenes because of a combination of how bad they are. Plus, the cutscenes also tell you where to go next. So, like, Tails is going to say where the next area is. Why not just use my plane, the tornado? But yeah, the cutscenes in Sonic Adventure 1, they aren't very good. Like this. Whoa. Sonic, you've seen Chaos Emeralds before. Like, why are you surprised by this? So yeah, we have to go to the mixed stick ruins next, and that is by train. And even I will also say, Sonic Adventure 1, they definitely flat out tell you where a lot of, where to go is. Um, and now we can play with Tails. Now if we want, we you can pretty much do Tails' story, but um, yeah, so we're gonna go over here and uh, even if you missed what they say in the cutscenes, let's just say you can go over here and yeah, I'll tell us to take the train to the Mystic Ruins. So we're gonna do that. Yeah, we're gonna uh, go to the Mystic Ruins. Get used to seeing the Mystic Ruins, by the way, regardless of what character you're using. So yeah, Tails said his workshop is in the Mystic Ruins, and if you look up here, you can see Tails' workshop, so... <laughs> if it isn't Sonic! Great 
He calls himself Robotnik. You say, Eggman. However, Sonic's is Eggman. I'm just gonna call him Eggman throughout the course of this playthrough because let's just say, even though he uses he both is used in Sonic Adventure 1, after Adventure 2, Eggman sticks, so I'm just gonna say Eggman throughout the course of this playthrough. Anyway, so we have to fight Eggman. So there is a trick to this fight that I want to get to work, but I'm not always good at getting it to work now. We just have to dodge Eggman's missiles, and after that, he's going to try to hammer into us. Um, but there's a trick to hit him, like, multiple times. I'm not always good at getting it to work, but I want to see if I can get it to work. But uh, you kind of jump on him and, like, mash the A button, like, um, like, yeah, like that. Except I, was, I wasn't really able to get it to work, though. We have another shot at getting it to work. You kind of jump and mash the A button and kind of hits him multiple times. Like, we did, we were able to hit him a few times, but I'm not really too good at that trick, though. There we go! Yeah, regardless of port, Sonic Adventure can be a broken game, let's just say. I'm not gonna find like too many game breaking things, but there, I'm just gonna bring, bring out I'm just bring out the ones I enjoy most. Well, that wasn't so hard. And Eggman takes the Chaos Emerald. Come on, Chaos. Time to eat. Chaos. And Chaos is gonna show us again. Sonic, you look what Sonic's gonna say. There is Chaos again. Oh no! Isn't that the same monster I saw the other day? Yes, it is, Sonic. Yeah, it's gonna be the thing throughout the course of this game. That, like every time Chaos gets a Chaos Emerald, uh, let's just say it's gonna he's gonna power up. I know. I just explained that. Yeah, much like most Sonic games, Sonic One's an exception. Sonic One had six Chaos Emeralds, but most Sonic games have seven Chaos Emeralds. Robotnik land. But hey, at least at, at least his voice actor in this game is nowhere. He's nowhere like at Robotnik in the fucking Sonic cartoon. Which the interesting thing is, he's voiced by Long John Baldry, who I find to be a very underrated singer. Anyway, so I might cut it off this part of Sonic Adventure DX, so next time on Sonic Adventure DX, uh, we're gonna see uh, if we can take uh, this thing and find out what we can do with it. See you guys then.